Music affects your brain from before you were born throughout your entire life. So in this video, we're going to talk about what music does to your brain throughout your lifetime. Hi, my name is JD, and I'm a statistician and music therapist here to offer statistically significant support. And if you don't mind hitting those like and subscribe buttons so that you can get the support as it comes out. When music is played, you have brain regions that start to communicate with each other. And these are regions like the auditory cortex, which is the brain region associated with processing sound, speech, and overall hearing. But also the frontal gyrus, the superior temporal gyrus, and the insula. Now these all start to communicate to allow you to do things like be attentive to the sounds, to create memories about the sounds, to allow for the emotional processing of these sounds, and to be able to react to what you are hearing. That includes motor functions, like your moving. But even before you were born, your auditory perception of music is processed by the auditory network in the brain. So at just 25 weeks of gestation, you could respond to low sounds, like frequencies of 250 to 500 hertz, like this. And at just 29 weeks, you could respond to higher frequencies of 1000 to 3000 hertz, like this. Even an EEG study revealed that if your parents played a lullaby to you while you were in the room at 29 weeks and did so for five times a week, you would have a stronger brain-related activity that corresponds to these melodies when it was played after birth. So these neural representations can even last up to four months after exposure. And all of this is suggesting that you created a memory of the song when you were a fetus in the womb. And this is called a fetal memory. And if your biological mother played music for you while you were in the room at 33 weeks, you would have stronger connections between brain regions such as the primary auditory cortex and the thalamus. And these are associated with auditory processing, consciousness, and sensory motor signaling. And you would also have connections between the brain regions like the middle cingulate cortex and the striatum, which are associated with cognitive control, decision making, and reward perception when compared to if your mother did not play music. And in your early childhood, if you were forced to learn to play a musical instrument for as little as 15 months, you had changes to your motor and auditory areas in your brain compared to kids who did not have intense musical training. And these are associated with benefits of motor and auditory skills. But even adults benefit from musical training. Having musical training protects you against impairments in verbal cognition, at least in musicians with epilepsy compared to non-musicians with epilepsy. But the earlier the musicians started playing, the better they performed on learning and remembering melodies. Now these neuroplastic changes in the brain associated with music and skill improvement aren't limited to infants and children. Music's neurological effects also extend to people who have TBI, stroke, degenerative disorders, and they improve memory, attention, motor regulation, and emotional regulation. For people with a mild traumatic brain injury, just playing piano twice a week for 30 minutes at a time over eight weeks brought about functional neuroplastic changes in their orbital frontal cortex networks. Now what's really cool is that they improve their cognitive abilities up to a normal level after playing. And even six out of seven of them were able to return to work. For TBI specifically, music listening and active music making both activate multiple areas of the brain. Now music therapy, specifically neurologic music therapy, this, this is NMT, can help improve executive functioning in moderate and severe TBI patients and increase gray matter volume in the right inferior to frontal gyrus. And this is compared to TBI patients who didn't get NMT. Also, patients who received NMT in the first half of a six-month follow-up had better executive functioning than the patients who had it during the second half of their six-month follow-up. NMT also changed the functional neuroplasticity of resting state networks of TBI patients. And this is indicating a shift from a hyper-connected state of executive functioning to a more efficient sensory integrative functioning. So instead of having to compensate, it doesn't, didn't have to compensate anymore. And they got this change in just 60 minute sessions twice a week, which included active music making like rhythmic training, drumming through structured movements, and playing favorite songs on the piano. 
Music therapy can increase your gray matter density and volume, as well as your white matter integrity and architecture in areas like your motor and premotor cortexes and your cerebellum. Music therapy can also improve your executive functions. Now, it's thought that these neurological changes happen because musical training can have specific effects or a range of different effects that other types of trainings can't offer. So musical training can require a wide variety of skills like translating language into physical action, like reading the notes and moving your arm to perform the notes. It also improves memorization and works on learning rules and structure also discriminating between tiny differences in sound and time. And music can engage your brain so that areas can link together that wouldn't otherwise connect. And active music making connects the areas of your brain that are and are not associated with music, while also activating association cortexes through your memories. Now, if there's one key takeaway from this video, it's that the research is strongly suggesting that the sooner you start engaging with music and frequently, the more beneficial it is for you and your brain. So play that song, learn that instrument, and do it now because now's as good a time as any, and the more you do it, the more protective it's going to be for you. So if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, hit the subscribe button so that you can continue to get statistically significant support. Thank you.